Hello! Welcome to my home! Come in! Merry Christmas, everybody! Hello, everybody! Welcome to my home! This is the beginning of our Make It Merry with Marjorie Christmas series. So, we begin our series with showing you how I did my Christmas decor for my home for this year. Let's begin with main living room. This is not a house tour. This is a Christmas home tour. If you saw my Christmas home tour in my last uh, series, Christmas series, this is much simpler in the way that there's less clutter everywhere. Every corner of my home has a touch of Christmas. It begins with the smell of the house. So it's either I have pine scent spray all over the home, so it smells like you're in a pine forest, or you have candles like this. It's very important. <laughs> when you walk into my home, biglang amoy Pasko na. Ayan, so we have these little homes and I've had this for many years. During Christmas Eve, we put candles inside so it reflects, it comes out in the little windows. I bought that in the Pitan Arcade. Okay, and this one, ito mga old decors na ginawang bago ulit. Parang nagpalit-palit lang kami. And of course, kasama na sa Christmas touches ay yung mga throw pillows natin. These throw pillows, I've had it in my past vlog. This one I've had for so many years, pinagawa ko lang yan. Okay, so this is basically the original part of the home. So dito rin kami kumakain at night pag kami kami lang at wala yung lahat ng mga anak ko. Siyempre, kailangan meron pa rin kaming spirit of Christmas here. The scent has to be here. That light, basta magdilim na, kailangan open na yung lights natin. This is completely different this year. Parang iniba-iba lang namin. So the one that makes my Christmas decor just added a little tweaked our Christmas decor. But the runners, the same. Again, very inexpensive. Binili ko lang yan sa department store. And then ito, I've had over the years yung ating mga lalagyan ng table, napkin, or tissue. Whatever you may call that. Okay, so this is the quiet part of my home. Let me welcome you to the place or to the part that where all the magic happens, where all our parties, happenings, and get-together happens. So welcome to my Christmas 2022. So some of you have already seen this in the Instagram stories of my children because they couldn't wait to post it. This is my Christmas tree for this year. For those who know me, they know that I have a Christmas village that I've had over the years. Pero sa panahon ngayon, na ayaw na ng mga bata na malaki yung this, this area over here. Okay, this area over here used to be the place where I put that big, this huge table where my Christmas village used to be. And um, nahirapan kami pag may Christmas parties or dinners or even Christmas Eve, Noche Buena, kasi wala kami paglalagyan ng buffet. So, I thought we should think of a better way wherein I can have a Christmas tree and a Christmas village at the same time. And thanks to Pinterest, I got a bright idea from them that I can make my Christmas tree and my Christmas village in one. I tried to challenge myself every year, not only with the food that I would prepare for the kids, but also with the decor. I don't know what it is about Christmas, but I want my kids to be really excited to be spending it with me. Well, four out of my five children are already adults, and two are already out of my home and living on their own in their own houses. And I would still like to think na pagdating ng Christmas Eve or ng Noche Buena, kahit pagtanda nila at kahit may mga anak na sila, dito pa rin sila sa bahay ko magki Christmas Eve. So I try to make it as beautiful as possible for them. But siguro over the years, sanay na sanay na rin talaga sila na kung anong gagawin kong gimmick. Pero this year, I was really pleasantly surprised kasi when we made this, 
and they first saw it, parang they were so amazed at how the tree came out. Nakait ako na gulat ako. Parang I saw the child in them. At sa katalagang for talagang paulit ulit yung kanilang pagpepraise na. Wow, mom, it's really nice. It's so pretty. Or you outdid yourself this year. Parang hindi nila maimagine na we came up with something like this. Plus the bonus. Nanjan pa rin yung space na gusto nila. Actually, this tree, pinagawa namin yan sa carpenter and sa electrician. Well, it is a very tedious process. Pinagawa siya ng frame. Medyo expensive rin siya kung iisipin kasi I really wanted it in such a way na hindi ma-expose yung mga wires. So for those who have made their Christmas villages at home, hindi natin maiiwasan na ang bawat bahay na iilawan natin merong wire. Diba? Each house has a wire kasi lalagyan natin ng bulb. And ayaw na ayaw ko yun na makita yun. So, our carpenters, ginawa yung frame. Actually, this frame, I don't know if I can share some of the photos kasi parang it's just from my phone. We used yung plywood na makapal para hindi mahulog yung mga bahay. Para talaga very sturdy siya. And then, sa gitna, what we used is pipes para dun magtago, matago yung mga electrical wires. Inisa-isa nila yun, so I want to thank my electrician, JR. Sabi niya, batiin ko daw siya, hi, JR. Hindi ko alam yung family name mo. <laughs> okay, and then this one, para magkaroon ng effect ng snow, we use fiber fill. But of course, the challenge is, mahuhulog-hulog yung mga tao-tao. So we have to fix it every so often. So akala nga nila yung carpenter at saka ng electrician, okay, so gawa na yung frame. So ganun lang yun, let's just put whatever houses. Ang hindi nila alam is it has a story. It should be able to tell a story. So may area ng commercial space, parang zoning lang yan. Meron tayong places for the houses. We have a church. Kaya meron tayong choir na inalagay. And then, syempre, pag-iisipan mo kung saan lalagay yung mga puno. Lahat yan. So, in order na magmukha talaga siyang Christmas tree, na ma-achieve mo na Christmas tree rin siya, kailangan lagyan siya ng garland na merong ilaw. So, medyo matagal to. To be honest, malapit na ako mag-give up. It was really planning na, nako, ano ba talagang height? Gano ba ka wide yung kailangan natin? Per area, how is it supposed to look like a tree? Yung ilaw ba magiging enough kung galing lang sa house? Galing lang sa garland? It was a project that I almost said, ayoko na. <laughs> Buti na lang ako'y nag-persevere because my kids really, really loved it. And thank you. I'm so glad that I would catch them. Talagang pinag-aaralan nila yung trees. Parang Talagang gumagawa sila ng sarili nilang storya doon. This area, I don't think much has changed since my last Make It Merry with Marjorie Christmas series. I still have the same throw pillows that says thankful and be grateful because it's something that I want to remember every year that we, we begin and we end the year. No matter what life has brought us for the past year, we always have to be and have the heart that's thankful and we always have to be grateful. So that's exactly what we want to be in this home. And this, along with the green throw pillows, pinagawa ko rin yan years ago, and it's still alive and it's still well. Basically, the theme that I wanted this year was parang winter, because we miss the snow, and we can't be where the snow is right now. We have touches of eto, parang mukhang snow. So there's this place in near West Avenue, this warehouse where you buy all the Christmas decor at a really good price, and I think it's a supplier's place. So here, I bought the polar bears. Actually, na ubus ko na yung polar bears. Yan mga bago yan. Yan ang wala ako before. So I just wanted it to match with the winter theme. Even my garland, I bought it there. Meron na siyang snow sa garland niya. Okay, so we continue the theme here with the snowman and the polar bears and the garlands that we have touches of white. So that's why I chose also the balls. Hindi naman mahal tong mga balls. I think you have this in every department store. Basta gusto ko siya meron parang snow effect. Of course, yung mga nabili ko uh, over the years, yung noon-noon pa sa mga tsangga sa Green Hills, the one that embroiders yung mga Christmas embroidery ko, it's still alive as long as it's kept really well. So dito, dito ko nilalagay yung aking tissue. We need that. And then, I also bought the trees there. So, naubos ko rin yun. I bought a few pieces and they didn't have more. Konti na lang siya sa area. So, it's very, very cozy here in this space and we have candles and scents to make the effect 
even better. We take you here to the kitchen bar. So we used to call it our kitchenette, but I was corrected that it's called the kitchen bar. My kids always have guests here all the time. So that's Claudia, that's Leon. I realized na parang kailangan, parang ready na kami for visitors at any time, lalo na tong Christmas season, na with the hope that they'd rather spend time here at home than in any other place. So we also decorated this. Before I decorated this because of the series also, dito ako nagluluto nun. So we also put here a few Christmas touches. Andyan pa rin yung parang snow snow, icicles, whatever. And you know, honestly, like if it's a Sunday evening the, or uh, and whatever evening and then the kids are here, it's always nice na you can heat the food here or make a simple pasta dish here while the kids are there laughing and having wine and nakaka interact kami. So I really like to dress up this place in something Christmassy. Parang connected pa rin kami. So, ito, existing na to. We have this all year round. Pero nilagyan natin ito. Medyo luma na. That's why you see medyo yung iba sira na. Pero let's not give up. Let's not waste. Mani, I still have those little houses here. Of course, our candles. And then this microwave, okay, gusto ko, gusto ko na siya tanggalin, pero ako gamit na gamit ng anak ko, so we put something Christmassy there. Now, I'll show you the bar. This is not a bar. This is where we put the plates of the kids. Para anytime, party ready. So we have the plates na here. It's Christmas plates for desserts. So we always have desserts too. Friends come with food. Friends come with desserts. And this one I've had for so long. Our Santa plates. Okay, and then for those who want tea from overeating, we have our Santa Claus mugs. So yan, it's ready na for our guests. We have our Christmas glasses. And then, I have this, para they can just get it na, no? So we have our Christmas coasters here. So what do, do they do? they want red? Do they want white? Do they want green? By the way, these are all available at Everything Avery PH. Our Christmas coasters go over to our Shopee flagship store or our Instagram page. See? Very Christmassy. It's crochet. And then I also have the candy cane. Ayan, pili lang sila. Okay, so in the house, you can't get a glass without a coaster. So it's there. It's ready. May lalagyan rin ng tea. You want to feel Christmassy? Choose the red tea. <laughs> English breakfast. Spoon and fork is all available. Those who want wine, we have the opener. And then, of course, our napkin rings. And our napkins are here also. So this is the area basically for the kids. So I think you've seen my banyo. It says joy and peace. My best friend's name is Joy. Okay, so we just have like a small area here. Siyempre, kailangan rin natin to. So our hand towels are still Christmas. And again, every single part of our home has to have the Christmas spirit. Okay, you know what? Let's ask the kids how they feel about the Christmas decor this year. Kuya! Hello! Ang bilis nun! Yeah, hey! Hi, Kuya! Hi, guys! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Okay, so I was telling them kasi kanina na. You guys were really happy about this year's Christmas decor. Super. Really? Why? Obviously, it's super different compared to our other Christmas trees in the past. But also, I like how mom was able to combine her Christmas village to a Christmas tree setup. And I feel like she didn't have to decorate the house a lot with more decorations because this one already stands out the most. So, and it's a very interesting because it's like the Christmas tree has a story. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's the good thing about the Christmas, Christmas village. village. Kasi nga, like even when they were kids, even now, kahit na Ayaw nila aminin, the past Christmases kasi nagkikomplain yung yes. si Julia and Claudia like the table was so huge. Yeah. Diba? She was able to think and innovate. And yeah, but I caught them one night before. Like, they were like watching it like kids and they were like making stories out of yes. the, ano. Kasi maganda rin yun. It no? never gets old. Kasi may short. streets rin yun. May lake. May ganon. Common mistakes. Like, um, I bought mga houses from before. Mm. Yung parang old houses. And then, biglang bumili ako ng a gasoline station. So, which is super modern. Oh, I like that. that. From a museum of art. And then, I had to like separate them kasi bigla siyang modern. Ang modern ng gas station pero yung car ko sinauna. It's really hilarious. So, also, when kulang siya ng cars, she'll ask me if I have toy cars. Pa. Yeah. So, may makikita ng Hot yeah, Wheels. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, that's true. Pagkakulang ng cars, 
pahinga ako ng toy cars niya. Mga Hot Wheels. Niya. Mga modern naman. Yeah. So buti lang hindi ako humiram ng mga dinosaurs. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what do you like about Christmas in our home? Obviously the food. I also like how all of us are present because obviously everyone is free in that holiday. But I feel like my favorite memories would have to be whenever we go to the States. Na um, Christmas. Yeah. Because we'd always arrive December 24 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, pero dito pa rin tayo nag eve Yes. So we so, spend Christmas Eve here. Tapos we fly Christmas Day. Day. So we get there Christmas Eve rin. Mm -hmm. So we have the long Christmas Eve yes. natin sa America. So I like it also because her good friend, Tita um, Babang. Babang, would always set up Christmas dinner and then she'll have presents for us right after we just arrived in our house there. How about you? What's your favorite <coughs> Christmas memory? <coughs> My favorite time about Christmas is I realized na bata pa lang ako or like bago pa lang akong may bahay noon na you know when I was still young and I had a house na I really prepare. Mm -hmm. So dumating ako sa point na even my upholstery, nagpapagawa ako ng seat covers mm -hmm. na Christmas yung design. So, it, I don't know, Christmas is so huge to me and Valentine's. Mm -hmm. But Christmas to me, or part of the preparation, or part of the decor, is the smell. Yes. So, important talaga sa akin yung, it smells like Christmas in my home. What smell do you use again? Pine. What scent? Pine. Pine tree scent. So, pine tree. So, it has to smell like pine. It completes it talaga. Yes. And the vibes. So, so the funny thing, or not the funny thing, but I have that scent with me and I also actually, we made a scent last year mm -hmm. and we sold that also in Everything Avery. Yung scent na yon, during the Christmas season, so basta nag Christmas decor na ako every day that we, we put the scent on in the house. And then when we go to the States, let's say Christmas Day mm -hmm. or that Christmas after Christmas season, I bring the spray with me so and we spray like the home. house. And then so that during the pandemic year that we were only able to go to Baguio, I also brought this spray with me. So I guess it's the scent that really reminds me of Christmas yes. and the lights, I think. Are my expectations for this Christmas? Of course, you know, it's like the solemnity of the mm -hmm. celebration. I think my favorite part of Christmas Eve is the time that as a family, hindi ko na yun sa vlog because it's very personal where we talk to each other and we talk about what, what we're is thankful for also. what are we most thankful for that past year so mm -hmm. parang thanksgiving dinner namin mm -hmm. our version and last year we had a really nice kwentuhan natin tungkol what we were most thankful about the past year so i'm looking forward to that just really having a quiet dinner with you guys yes okay guys so can you please tell us how you feel about the christmas decor 2022 okay it's so nice it's very unique because I, it's the first time I saw someone do this with their Christmas tree, right? Exactly. That there's a village in the Christmas tree. Yeah, it's like everyone's just living in there, trying not to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? What, what about it? It's a snowy then, place. It's, it's snowing. I love how there's so many houses. There's lights in all the houses. Yeah, if you and look up close, it's very detailed. It's yeah. like a real village. And if you look at the people, they're up, they actually hold stuff, they have clothes. And then you look in here and there's, there's a bakery. They start, there's a baker. There's Okay, what was your first impression when you saw it? It's like, whoa, what did mom do again yeah, this year? No, that's why, that it's unique. Ah, but you like, you were yeah. pleasantly yeah. happy. I like your shoes. Okay. Okay, sorry, that was yeah, It's very Christmassy. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah. You, Erich, you were shocked when you saw it. Yeah, I, I was very shocked. I just, I was uh, just upstairs doing my homework. I wanted a snack. I went down and I saw a village. In and a then, in, in a, a tree. tree. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, I was like, <gasps> I just finished homework. What? Like, it was so shocking. <laughs> you just finished homework and what? Yeah, like, it was so shocking. You just see, you don't see this every day during Christmas. Yeah. You, know, you just, uh, like, for example, if you're like mothers or fathers make um, Christmas villages, they usually put it like somewhere else. But this year, it's in a tree. Yes, exactly. But now I just had an idea. The mic is on me, babe. Where are we going to put the gifts now? <gasps> All right. Oh. In the village. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, if you notice, if you notice, do you see any wires? No. No. See that? Why? That's why I almost gave up. Why? Because we had to make sure that it's all hidden here in oh, the middle. The Wait, question. Is yes. this styrofoam? Boom. No, this is fiber filled, by the way. What's fiber? The ones that they put inside the jackets. Oh. 
If you lived in the Christmas village, what would be your favorite part here? This one, where they dance in, in like the village, it's like surrounded. Though. Correct. Like, are they skating or what? Yeah. The, you know, actually, I don't know why it's all working now. If we put it on, and it's going to be so noisy. I would go to the fair. Okay, what do you call them? <laughs> parang so, ano yan eh? Parang carnival. carnival. The fair is Sorry. real. Or like, not the fair. Sorry. Actually, it all carnival. works. We're going to make and it work. And then I would do those things because it's very Christmassy. Yeah. And then I would go to the bakery because it looks so fancy. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would go to the church. Yes. And, and listen to the choir and go to the inn. My house, the, the Christmas nice inn. House. Yeah. Oh, but this is a pretty house, Chloe. Look at this. Look, this is a school. The Ooh. teachers there. Oh, yes. The kids <laughs> teaching. I would go um, to the museum. Correct. Because I love museums. Correct. And then my house is not where I do not have a It's on top of there. There's a pet shop too. Oh, yeah, the pet shop. But... There's another oh, I music that was the store house. Oh, sorry. with music lessons. Oh. See, I told you Gento Sila. They, they imagine okay. they have a story oh, in their mind. Okay, I love Christmas inns, so if there's one thing I really watch, one. I watch mga movies with inns, diba? So you guys, do you really look forward to Christmas when I decorate? Yes. yes. It's not cheesy, no, corny. I love it. Yes, I love it's it. It's simple. Cloud, I'll show you something because you always have guests here. You oh. have already like... Wow. Grab your own plate. That's perfect. Yeah. Grab your own mug. Yeah. Heat your own water. Grab your own thing, coaster. Yeah, and perfect. Okay? Okay. So, what's your favorite Christmas memory? What? I don't know. Edge. I don't know either. Last year was really nice. What was our Christmas either. last year? Here, just us. We had a fake fire. I like our Christmases in the States. So. Yeah. yeah, you know, Leon said. We come home on the 25th and Correct. Christmas night is so nice. I like Christmas it. night, yeah. So, we have two Christmases. Christmas Eve here and then we fly Christmas yeah, Day there. We get there Christmas Eve. Yeah, and it's still the holiday spirit when they welcome us. In what are your expectations this Christmas? Um, simple and fun. Yeah. Just simple and fun too. I just want to have fun. And what do you look forward to eating this year? Huh? A lot. <laughs> um, ham. <laughs> what that's it? funny. A lot. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> okay, amongst all the food that I prepare, what do you look forward to the most? Pudding, pudding, bread pudding. Pudding and pudding and pudding. When was pudding the last and pudding. pudding. Christmas. It felt so. Because I only prepare pudding on Christmas. It's I like, hope you yeah. It felt not so long ago. Yeah, I know. This year went by really, pudding really fast. And the ham There's with the cafe. caramelized. A yes, cafe. so we're gonna have ham and bread pudding oh, there. Okay. So Merry Christmas! Okay. Say Merry Christmas Merry to everybody! Christmas. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas! May your homes be filled with love. So thank you for joining me once again in our Christmas home decor tour as part of our Make It Merry with Marjorie Christmas series. From my home to your home, I'm wishing all of you a very Merry Christmas and a peace-filled home. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week.